this is the fitting off the TIG welder. And the issue is that there's not enough barb sticking out there to put the hose on and, and get a good clamp fit on there. Because uh, I tried to tighten up the clamp and it just, poof, just pushed it right off. So I've been going through looking at all the at the fittings I have and stuff like that and options. And I was looking at this one. This is actually off a uh, uh, probably an intake manifold. It's the vacuum. See all the gunk on the back side there? Uh, so I was thinking, oh, I'll, I'll bore that out. And I happen to have the tap that matches that. It's a 12 by 1.25. And and because I, I was looking at all these other options, you know, it's like, okay, how do I uh, get onto here and then build it up? Uh, that one doesn't quite fit. I was thinking, okay, well, I'm going to have to build it up. And I, I was looking at like four or five connectors, you know, and I was also considering, okay, well, if I drill that out, maybe I can just, you know, braze another piece in kind of thing. Uh, so then I, I finally came down and I thought, oh, sweet, that, that's not a bad option. I'll... I'll put it in the lathe and I'll drill this out and I'll thread it to where it fits on there and then I'll cut this off. And it dawned on me, it was like, well, if I'm going to cut that off, why don't I just put this damn thing in the lathe and cut that back a quarter inch <laughs> so I can uh, put the hose on there with a clamp. So, luckily, uh... New messages received from Jesse Wilbur. Messages awesome, thank you. Um... So that's, I think that's, uh, you know, the simplest things kind of escape you sometimes. So uh, uh, I'm glad I thought of that. You know, it is the same ID all the way through. It's not stepped. There's no hollow pocket in there or anything like that. So I can just go ahead and clamp this into the lathe, cut that down to that, uh, the diameter of the inner shaft there, not the barb, um, and put a clamp on it, get the TIG welder back up and going. I wasn't planning on doing any of this. I was supposed to be MIG welding. Okay, so... You, yeah, you can kind of see through there. So let's just go cut that back. Let me tighten it up and see how close that stays. Mm. That's reading off the inside, or within three thou. Let's, uh, let's call that good. <laughs> that's 2,000, and I got a feeling the belts are slipping really bad because uh, that's not spinning at 2,000.
I think this is where a high speed would probably, a uh, high speed cutting tool would probably work better than a carbide. Maybe. Hmm, as long as we can get a nut on it, I think we are uh, definitely close enough. It's a pretty forgiving nut too, so awesome. Okay, that's it for this. Uh, that needs to thread into there, get tightened down. Washer goes on it. Goes through the bulkhead. Washer goes on it. Nut goes on. Okay, and then the hose. So I'll cut off a fresh piece of, I'll cut the end off there. And, you know, I, oh man, yeah, that's, that's exactly what it needed. Okay, uh, back on track here. These are Craftsman Handy Cuts. They use a big, long uh, utility knife blade. These are really chewed up bad. I have yet to replace the blades in these, but, um, if you need to cut rubber square, I have the short pair too, and, and they're the ones I prefer to use because the blades are sharper. Uh, but, yeah, you, see, normally it'll cut, it'll cut the, the cloth in there, the string, without any problem. Uh, but this pair is beat up really bad. Okay. Okay, now, see the tank here in the background? I don't have a cap on it, and I don't have a chain around it holding it up, okay? Big no-no. Don't do that. Don't follow my example. Doesn't matter, whatever. Uh, my justification? I'm the only one in the friggin' shop right now. Now, the thing is, we could have an earthquake. That thing could fall over, break it off, boom, just add more damage. So, I'm kind of playing with fire, uh, but, you know... I think maybe I'll just eliminate this from the uh, recording so that the safety Nazis don't uh, give me shit. <laughs> so, anywho.